Hi, in this posting we talked about PKI and how Centrify includes the ADCERT utility. ADCERT is a PKI client for the Microsoft CA. Regarding um, PKI, I always uh, tell people do a true PKI involvement, get a consultant involved, uh, get proper trust, uh, uh, proper design, a proper trust model. Uh, so you make sure you have the right assurance. Um, these videos are just for illustration only. PKI is something you have to take very seriously. So quick and dirty here, I have the Microsoft Test Lab Guide and I have a root CA. My root CA is basically everything. Again, not recommended. Root CAs need to be protected. There's gotta be intermediate CAs. Typically root CAs are offline and protected by a hardware device. Anyway. So I, in a previous lab, I created this Centrify uh, Auto Enrolls for Max certificate. The cool thing about it is that my Unix machines can use it as well. So I have a CA running, you know, not a big deal. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use Putty to connect my SUSE machine. And uh, let's use George account here. Okay. Let's um, restart this session. So, uh, like I said, uh, 80, 80 cert lives in uh, user share simplify DC as bin. And if I do and I do minus minus help, um, you will see the help for 80, 80, 80 cert. So, 80 cert. You can, re you can enroll um, your computer or user certificates in Linux and Unix machines. Uh, you have to enable user, user policies, disabled by default. So let's take a look. So um, certificates are placed in, uh, uh, let me go, go ahead and change there, uh, var, centrify, and net. And there's gonna be a search certificate uh, folder in there. If I go into search, uh, I'm gonna see nothing because I actually um, removed, uh, I revoked all the certificates for my SUSE machine. So it is very simple, very anticlimactic. You elevate as root and then you do user share, uh, Centrify VC as bin and then AD cert. And I'm gonna do uh, minus E, minus M and verbose. Enroll my machine certificates and show me a verbose output. And uh, if I, you know, it's gonna generate a request. Um, and if I go over here, I can just probably you know, see when the certificate is, is actually issued. Hmm. And uh, there you go, I have my certificate here for SUSE1. And if I look over here in in the folder, and if I cat the auto and then cert, there's my certificate and also the private key is there. So you have the key pair. At this point, you can export it maybe to your Apache server because if it's gonna be for SSL or maybe uh, like we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, a, a server and domain isolation for IPsec encryption with Raccoon. We're gonna be doing that pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and revoke it again. And uh, let's do it with group policy this time. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick and dirty here. So it's easy to do RM star. I'm just removing all the certificates. The, the other way is I have a group policy and my group policy is set for auto enrollment. So if I do the ADGP update command, so let's take a look, there's no files in here. It's gonna refresh the computer policy and based on the fact that I have a GPO for auto enrollment, it's going to actually put all the certificates there in there. So I think my, my blog is getting a little boring because it's very consistent. Most likely uh, to answer questions about how things are done in Centrify, all you need to ask yourself, how is it done in Windows? And probably 80% of the time, the answer is gonna be the same when you talk about centrified systems. And I hope this helps. Centrify put this tool and it's out there. 
not a lot of uh, marketing around it but this could be a product in itself this saves a lot of money consolidates processes people who know a PKI know about this this is a pure gem and I hope this helps